Our first guest today is Heather Gibson, and she represents a company called Finer Detail. I know that she had a previous life in something very similar in this concierge space. And uh, it's a very interesting subject we're going to talk about today, but welcome to the show, Heather. Thank you, Clive. Uh, Heather, tell us a little bit about uh, Finer Details. Uh, Finer Details is a concierge and organising service, so we help people with their mind clutter and their physical clutter. Um, any of their to-do lists, um, helping them organise services and trade, sourcing products um, and running errands for them and as well as helping them clean up their homes and offices with physical clutter that they might have. Gee, well I tell you what, talk about mental clutter, you might need to help me here. I had mental clutter <laughs> this morning, I can tell you. <laughs> so I've had, a, I've had a very, very busy morning. But um, So um, how did this idea start? I used to do a lot of um, helping out of friends and family and someone suggested that um, I might like to look at it as a a business and after a bit of research I found that there was actually an industry out there that did that. So um, took me on my path of um, research and um, contacting people. Amazing. And tell me, Heather, it's something I didn't ask you about before, but um, is is there a reliance on any technology? Do you use things like apps or or websites or some technical stuff to actually perform some of the functions? No, not specifically. I mean, for our own personal use, obviously, we um, use apps that might help us with um, traffic flow when we're darting from (laughs) the northern (laughs) suburbs to the southern suburbs, but um, not specific um, concierge or organising apps, no. Okay, and this idea, it started some time ago and you were running this business on your own and now you've, you've formed a new business together which is called Fino Details. Do you have much competition within the, the Perth area? Not a lot. There are a few other ladies that um, do have um, same sort of business and we are finding that it is growing a bit as people become more and more aware that we exist. Um, but generally I think there's about six or seven in Perth, so... Not too many. And what's the most common uh, function that you perform as a concierge person? What, what's the most common well, thing you do? Both of our ar- arms of our business, we have the concierge side and the organising side, and they fairly well are, are about the same as far as um, clientele go. But it's usually um, running errands and helping with trades and services because there's a lot of um, trades people, unfortunately, that might be a little bit unreliable and people don't always have the sure. time to sit at home and wait two or three hours for someone to turn up or yeah. they might ask for three quotes and, and people just don't turn up or don't provide the information. So that's generally our So do you popular. make those phone calls where it says push one for this, push two for that, push three for that and, <laughs> and you we, work your way through it? <laughs> we have sat on the phone for clients many a times but um, we have a good database of trades and services that support us and our clients. and. Yes. Um, um, they're always um, very reliable. So, and compare Australia to the rest of the world, Heather. Is it um, uh, is it very different here? Is there is this quite more prevalent in other parts of the world? Absolutely. The US has a huge market in um, concierge services, and it's been going for quite a while. Um, Australia is only just starting to come into the the four and there's uh, a lot more on the east coast of Australia and as generally is the case Western Australia lags behind just a touch. <laughs> <laughs> is it, I suppose they always say that the WA is way a while so uh, yes. <laughs> but it's still a great place to live though. Absolutely wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> uh, so give us an idea of the sort of people that you would engage with. Generally it's uh, we find it's small small to medium business, um, professionals, but in saying that we um, have a a really diverse um, client base and um, have helped um, anyone from teachers to people that have recently lost a loved one and find it hard to to cope with possibly the physical and um, the mental um, tasks that they have to go through. Um, And we've also helped people that have gone to hospital um, and don't have family and friends that can run around and do errands for them whilst they're um, laid up. So, And you've got your own family, Heather, so how do you manage to do all these things all at the same time and run a family at home? I have grown up sons, so I'm very <laughs> fortunate now. They've um, long left home and a very, very supportive husband who um, yes, is uh, a shift worker and, and helps me out quite a bit. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, I, I don't know if I did ask you, but is there, there's nothing that stands out in terms of the clientele that you have. I think that when we last spoke, which is a long time ago now, you were talking about the fly-in, fly-out market, but apparently that's not so much your marketplace now. No, not specifically. I, I think obviously because the mining industry has slowed a bit um, and people are conserving their 
their finances and, and a little bit un, um, shaky with job situation, that that's never really been something that we've gone directly towards. But sure. um, yeah, we, we do have quite a divi- diverse range across the board. So. So what examples have you got of uh, some of your recent jobs? Maybe one of the most unusual uh, ones, Heather, because you must come across a lot of people, a lot of homes, see a lot of homes, see a lot of clutter. Um, Anything unusual that springs to mind? Uh, We had a client recently who had um, some embryos and some sperm stored in two different locations and they wanted us to research and facilitate um, putting them in the one um, location and facility to um, help with ease of access as well as reduce the costs of, of long-term storage and of course it's quite precious cargo so we had to make sure it was a, um, a reliable institution that um, we recommended for them so that's probably the most unusual that I can think of to date. Wow well when I asked the question I didn't expect that answer. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but that must have been very, very unusual. It is, and it's very rewarding to help people with, um, you know, things that they've got going on in their lives because a lot of um, couples and families, both parents work, um, and they don't have the time to to manage with their own homes and their their families and their children and everything else as well as try and have some leisure time as well. So quite often we're built into people's lives as a... Um, an ad hoc service so okay and tell me is uh, do the jobs vary from anything from sort of a, a couple of hours to a month is it is it so varied in terms of the time yeah the um, organizing side of our business is usually a couple of sessions we help um, clients with organization and after that they once they've cleared the backlog they feel a lot more um, capable of moving forward the concierge side I mean some of our clients have been working with us for quite a while so um, yeah, they might use us once a week or they might use us a couple of times a month. It just depends on their needs. Well, you must be a terrific wife, uh, Heather, because uh, if you're going around uncluttering everything, I guess your husband can just come home and throw anything anywhere and it'll just be he sorted out for you. He wouldn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's lovely talking to you about this concierge service, uh, Heather. And uh, where can people go for some more details? Uh, we have our website, which is www.finerdetails.com.au. We're also on Facebook. And we have a um, Pinterest account where um, we have quite a few bits of information for, for people to have a look at as well. So, And I believe you were on TV recently. Yes, just before Christmas we did um, a um, Today Tonight segment um, just helping people before Christmas. So Get a bit of a response from that? Is yeah, it? a little bit, yeah. It was um, was not too bad. Because so. it's an unusual service and it's something that people need to sort of be told a lot more about what you can do, isn't it? I think that that's it. It's it's, it's getting awareness and, and letting people know that the service exists. So um, that's what we're all about. Great. Well, you've been talking to Heather Gibson, who is one of the owners of Finer Details. She's been talking to us about concierge services here in WA, which... Uh, has got to be a first for WA, I think, concierge <laughs> services. But, Heather, thank you so much for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Clive.